Hi everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So, a while ago I broke a pressure gauge, and it's pretty interesting to see inside of it. You see there's this little brass tube here with a little lever on it. So how these work is this basically acts like a balloon. If you have a balloon that's curved, or a piece of rubber that's curved and you inflate it, it's going to want to straighten out. Same thing happens here, except this is a piece of brass. And what happens is as this tries to straighten out, as you put pressure behind it, is it moves a little lever, or even a gear, which moves your dial. I want to try making one of these on my own. I'm going to use this piece of copper here. I bent this copper pipe into a curve, so it's very similar to that little brass thing. So let's go ahead and put this together into a little pressure gauge and see if it works. Alright, so here's the completed pressure gauge. As you can see, I sealed the ends of the pipe. I added some bolts here to anchor everything down. I added a little hook on the end of this with a thread going over to this lever. See if this moves just a tiny bit, the end of that arm will move a lot, as you can see. Yep. So I've got this uh, little bicycle pump hook up to it. As you can see, I can read the pressures off here with another gauge. I've got the camera set up here at the end of the arm. As you can see, I've got zero marked. This thing is freely floating. So I'm going to go ahead and pressurize it. And about every 20 psi or so, I'm going to come back over here and see if it's moved. Sound good? Okay, visually I can't tell it's moved at all, but that's 20 psi right there. Let's go ahead and take it up to 50. Okay, 50. I think that's definitely moved a little bit. Let's go ahead and mark. I don't know, how did I have it marked? Let's put a light mark right at the edge of that for now. Let's go ahead and take it up to 100 and see where that takes it. Okay, there's 100 PSI. This thing's shaking around a little bit, but should be all right. Okay, mark the 100. Okay, and that there's 150 PSI. Go ahead and mark that. All right, let's release the pressure and see if it goes back. There it is, I took it back down to zero pressure. It looks like it's went back down to about zero. So this thing doesn't appear to be nearly as sensitive as I was hoping it would be. But, you know, what did I expect? This is like heavy duty copper tubing. It's not like a brass tube that's designed for the purpose. I didn't take it to very high pressure either. So what you have here is this pipe is curved like this, which means the outer surface has more surface area than the inner surface. And the gas is pushing on the same amount on all sides of the inside of the tube, which means it's going to have a slight net force pushing this way. The effect is not much, but it's certainly there. Uh, this probably moved just a tiny amount. I mean, look how much I have to move it just to get that. Yeah, <laughs> hardly any. Uh, as you can see, I've added a spring here to move this which is just basically a piece of wire to move that back to a starting position. And this is essentially just a big lever to amplify any motion that happens over here. As you can see, the amount the end of this moves is tiny. But it's definitely there. It does work. And you guys can certainly see how these things work. Hope you guys enjoyed my little demonstration. Perhaps this knowledge will be useful to one of you someday. I know I might eventually use this to like test some of my own high pressure systems. Since this gauge does appear to react to much higher pressures, perhaps I could put 1000 PSI on it and it would move much more. You know, it's really something I've been wanting to try for a long time. Could I make a pressure gauge? And looks like I can. Perhaps it could use a bit more redesigning, but I thought it was pretty interesting myself. I hope you guys thought so as well. A couple of things I wanted to mention to you real quick is, uh, first of all, I've been going to school now and I haven't been able to get out to the ranch nearly as often, so my videos have been toned down a little bit, but they will be coming back. I have been working on quite a few other videos. And there are ones that require a bit more work and preparation, so I hope you guys will stay tuned for when those come out. In the meantime, I'll be doing a few smaller videos, but they'll still be quite interesting. 
Also, I am going to be going to the Salt Lake Comic Con on this Saturday. So if any of you are going to be there, look for a guy in a blue suit. Because <laughs> that's what I'll be wearing. And finally, someone has volunteered to make music for my channel. And at the end of this video, I will put a clip of the music that they've made for my outro. And uh, I want you guys to go ahead and comment and see how you like that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.